Welcome back. Well, Israel has approved a military operation in Rafah, conducting strikes in the area. The move came hours after Hamas had announced it had accepted an Egyptian Qatar ceasefire proposal. Israel says the deal does not meet its demands, but will send negotiators to discuss. Joining me now is Shadow Foreign Affairs Minister Simon Birmingham. Thanks for your time. Initial indications, Israel not necessarily going to support this, but they're going to be involved. Should they be really searching hard to to try to find some common ground here, given how long this war has gone on? Tom, I welcome the fact that Israel are going to engage in these discussions. Uh, the last sets of discussions around a ceasefire that have been had, and there have been multiples, uh, had broken down because Hamas would not accept anything, uh, and they were unwilling to accept, in particular, uh, terms around the release of hostages. Uh, now, uh, we don't know the details of what uh, has been put on the table or agreed to by Hamas at this time. Israel's indicated that it's a different offer. Uh, clearly anything that can see uh, the release of hostages uh, and enable um, a ceasefire in relation mm. to hostilities uh, would be welcome. Uh, but there are obviously many terms to be assessed. I mean, frankly, it shouldn't take this type of negotiations. If Hamas had any care for the well-being of the people in Gaza, if they had any sense of acknowledging the wrongdoing that occurred on October 7 last year, then they would release the hostages unconditionally uh, on the expectation that that would enable a ceasefire rather than all of the other okay. terms that are attached to any type of hostage swap or the like. Given that the peace negotiations are, are happening now, though, the ceasefire ones at least, should this Rafa ground invasion be paused? Is it, is it something that shouldn't at least go ahead for now, given this could be a breakthrough moment? Tommy, again, I think that will depend upon just how things actually unfold in relation to those negotiations, what the actual content of this offer is. Uh, it's important that Israel has regard for uh, the humanitarian situation in, in Rafa is careful in the way in which it executes any operations there uh, to seek mm. to minimise... But, but couldn't it at least like two or three days to see what the tone very, of the talks are before going in in Rafa? Uh, as, as, as I said, Tom, that uh, would depend on the content of this, whether it is uh, a legitimate offer uh, or a tactical one. Uh, you have to, uh, have to, of course, have some questions about the fact that Hamas having last week and the week before the week before, rejected the type of ceasefires mm. uh, offers that were being put on the table, uh, now just at this moment come out and publicly declare okay. that uh, there is something that they might entertain. But perhaps it's the threat of yet another ground invasion. Um, let's move on to the next topic, the Chinese PLA. Dropping flares, it's accused of doing this close to an Australian helicopter, a Navy helicopter, Pretty strong condemnation from the government. Has it been handled in the right way from what you've seen so far? Uh, Tom, whilst the condemnation is right in language, uh, the messenger appears to be lacking in seniority. Uh, and that is, uh, is really where the government has gone missing. I heard in the package that was played just before the Prime Minister boasting about the resumption in dialogue uh, that has been enabled between mm. China and Australia as China removed its ban on ministerial-level dialogue. Well, if that's the case, then the Prime Minister or his Defence Minister should be able to pick the phone up and talk to their counterpart and express Australia's concerns directly to them because that's mm. what should happen when something like this occurs, which is not a one-off okay. but a pattern of conduct by China uh, that has endangered Australian serving personnel before others within the region and creates an enormous risk of what happens if there is a miscalculation one day that results in a very serious injury or even death. 